Okay, I decided to make a video on how to program an Invacare power wheelchair. This particular model is a Invacare Pronto R2. It's a few years old. It uses the uh, Mark IV series controller, joystick controller. It has a charging port right up front. After looking for instructions on the internet, I didn't find any good detailed instructions, so I figured why not make a video in case somebody else wants to do it. Um, you do need a special programmer. These cost about $250 to $300. And I was not going to spend that kind of money on something I'm only going to use one time. But I did find somebody on eBay that sells them and also rents them out. Um, I don't remember how much he rents them for, but it's nothing compared to spending $300. You do have to leave a deposit through PayPal, but he sends that back to you through PayPal once he receives the programmer back. Okay, uh, I've seen some people ask, how do you program it, where do you hook it up? You actually hook it up to the charging port with the three prong plug for the, for the Mark IV series, five prong plug for the Mark V series controllers. You just put it right here, just like that. You turn on the chair, and then you turn on the controller, I mean the uh, programmer. And you can see it going through the boot screen. And there you see all the choices. Performance adjust, standard programs, and calibrations. You only need to go up to performance adjust, really. I made the uh, mistake of adjusting everything, and it took me a while to adjust everything because I would change the setting, test out the chair, adjust it again. I did that, and then I would, went into standard programs just to see what was in there, and as soon as you do that, it erases everything in the uh, performance adjust. Whatever you put on there, it erases it and puts in another preset setting. So, careful with that. But these are the choices once you get into a performance adjust. Forward speed, turning speed, acceleration, sensitivity, braking adjust, reverse speed, torque. I have my torque set about at zero. So, uh, because my chair gets jerky if I have the uh, torque up too high. But everything else is pretty high. The chair was originally set up for indoor, so it was really slow. And now that we only want to use it for the outdoors, I needed to increase all the settings. And now it's much faster. So you do all this, you change all the settings. The way I did it, like I mentioned before, is I would change something, you save it, then you power off the unit, and you don't even have to unplug it. You can start driving right away. See, if you power off the unit, the chair can drive now. See? Once you turn it on, you can't. The controller won't do anything. So you just change the setting, turn it off, try it out, see if you like it. Go back in, adjust it and uh, make sure you save every time and you'll get it all programmed real good and you should need this again unless you want to change the settings again later on but <clears throat> like I said I found this on eBay from a seller named Mr. Mobility he rents them out or he sells them and he carries a lot of different types of programmers for different chairs so you might want to check that out. I'll put a link at the bottom of the video, the description. And uh, he was really, uh, he has a lot of positive feedback, so no issues there. And he was really helpful when I was communicating with him. So I definitely recommend him. And uh, I'll show you how to program another chair that I have. It uses actually the same programmer, but it'll use the five prong 
connector on that chair and it cooks up to the back it doesn't use a charge port so I'll do that one and then you can see that too alright thanks a lot Okay, this is the other chair that I programmed. This is also an Invocare, but it's the Ranger 2 Storm Series foldable power chair. The programming process is pretty much the same, except the location of the programming port is not at the joystick controller. It's in the back of the chair, which I'll show you right now. The controllers are the joystick controller is already turned on. Make sure you do that, just like in the other chair. You see the uh, control module mounted on the chair. We're going to be using the same programmer. But we're going to be using the five prong plug this time. So it's going to go right back here. Turn it on. And there you go. Going to performance adjust. This one I have a little set a little different. See, like this one, I uh, have the torque all the way up because it has a, the motors aren't as strong as the other chair, so it needs every bit of torque that you can give it for climbing those hills or the driveways. <clears throat> so, like I recommended before, go into the programming, change, pick one setting, change it, drive the chair, turn off the controller, save it, and then turn off the controller. Drive it around, test it out. If you like it, then leave it and go back in and pick another setting and adjust that. It'll take a while, but it'll ensure that you set up your chair properly and to you suit your needs. Because if you're renting this, you don't want to have to rent it again. So make sure you like the way it drives double check triple check if you have to but get it right so you don't have to keep renting it and uh, make sure you will go on eBay and check out Mr. Mobility <clears throat> I really want to thank him for setting me up with this uh, programmer it was a uh, it was a lifesaver the other chair was just undrivable outside it was so slow and now it just flies down the road <laughs> so again thank you Mr. Mobility and I'll try to put a link on the description see if it lets me if not then just go search for him on eBay he's got plenty of good feedback and uh, don't uh, worry about leaving a deposit with him he'll get it right back to you as soon as you send back the the programmer anyway enjoy and be careful when you're programming don't adjust everything too fast when you adjust something don't just jerk the joystick around because <clears throat> there's it'll be a big difference especially if your chair is programmed to drive slowly right now when you go when you move up on the torque and the speed you'll really notice it so be careful all right thanks for watching